In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add text to your book cover for your Amazon Kindle books. Now, let me start off with a couple uh, notes. First of all, this is not a replacement for a cover, or this is not a tutorial on how to actually create a book cover or anything like that. Uh, I had somebody ask, actually had a couple people ask how to add text to an image or to a cover. So this is just a real basic uh, scenario on adding text to an existing image or existing cover. It's not a tutorial on how to create your own cover. We'll do that a, another time. Second of all, what I'm using is Photoshop Elements 9, but you could use Photoshop Elements 10, 9, 8, 7, probably even 6, and the method is exactly the same. And it doesn't matter if you're using it on the PC or the Mac. The menu may look a tiny bit different based on your version and what you're using, but uh, everything is pretty much the same and the method is exactly the same. So, that being said, let's jump right into it. Here is a image and I just started with a, a full page blue cover and then I added this uh, image kind of in the middle. I just wanted to kind of show you how I can add text above it and below it. And we'll also add text on top of it too, just to show you that as well. But this could be your book cover, this could be the back of your book, you know, for your sales page, it really doesn't matter. So it's very easy to add text. All you can do in Photoshop Elements is come over to the left hand menu here, and there's a text tool that's shaped like a T, and all you need to do is either click on that or just hit the T on your keyboard, which is the hotkey for text that activates the text tool. And then you can just click anywhere and start typing. Uh, before we do that though, I wanna show you, once we clicked on that, it brought up some menus up here. So for instance, right here is our font choices. So you can choose any font uh, that you have on your computer. So there's tons of great choices for fonts. Let's go with Droid Serif. In addition to that, you can choose whether it's regular, italic, bold. Let's do bold. And then also the font size. You know, it's got all these different size um, sizes that you can choose from. Let's try 60. And then here is the font color. So let's do yellow for starters, since we're gonna do it on the blue background. So now all you need to do is, let's say you wanna do the book title up here. Now that we have our T, tool selected our text tool just click right here and we'll get a blinking cursor right there there it is and I'm just going to type in the word book title and then we're just going to hit this green check mark now obviously that's way too small so there's two ways we could resize this I'm going to highlight it just by um, holding my left mouse button down and just dragging it over my text that highlights it so then I could come up here and change the font, go up to 72, or um, I could just highlight this and just type in like 100 even, and then hit the little green check mark. So that's one way. Or another thing we can do is click on this tool right here, it's the Move tool, and that kind of highlights our text within the Move tool. So if I click with my left mouse button in the middle of that and hold it down, first of all, I can move that anywhere I want it. Then second of all, see these little uh, boxes around the perimeter of that? If you grab those, with, uh, you put it, your mouse there and it turns into double arrows. So you just hold your left mouse button down and drag. See, you can also make that larger or smaller as well. So that's another way that you can resize your text. And then just hit the green check mark when you're done and you can move it in place. And if you don't like the color, just hit the text tool again or hit T and just highlight it with your mouse. And then you can change the color. I'm going to change it back to white. Also, um, you can change the font. You're not stuck with any font. You don't have to delete the text. You can just change the font until you find a font that you want as well. So you can control the font, uh, the color, the font size, everything about this. And it's very 
quick and easy to do. So you can see you can get a lot of different a lot of different looks for this. And remember, like I said, you can type in if it's larger than 72, you can type in your font size or if you want to get an exact size that's not listed. So there is our book title. Now if we want to do the author, let's say you want to do the author down here. Again, you just select the text tool and then just um, click down here and I'm going to do a different font for the author. You don't have to, but uh, you can definitely do different fonts. In this case, let's do uh, Times New Roman, if I can find it. Here it is. And let's do uh, 60 for the font. And I'll just type in author name. Now, uh, italic is selected, which I don't want for the author name. So if I highlight this, I can come up here and just change that to regular and then click this check mark. And then just select this move tool and I can move this anywhere I want. And that's really all there is to it. So whether this would be a front cover, a back cover, image, um, it doesn't matter. Um, let's say that this image was actually a full size image. So let me make that a full size. Then over here you see the layers area. Every time you enter text it creates a new layer. And this picture is the layer one, the background layer. You can see the picture right there. You just need to put the text on top of the layer. So you select it and just hold your left mouse button down and just drag it up so it's above that layer and then the text will show up on top of that picture or you, know, you can create a new line of text for example and in this case I, I would not use white text if I was putting it on this background I would change the color and use something totally different but you see um, how easy it is. So you can add text to an image, to just a blank color. Um, you can do anything you want. Uh, one last thing I'll show you, let me undo all this. One last thing I'll show you is if you wanted to do like text for a back cover. Uh, let me get this out of the way. So let's say like this area, you want to do like a couple sentences or a paragraph. Simply just grab that text tool. I'm gonna change it to white use a smaller font maybe like a maybe a 48 and just start typing in and I'm actually gonna make it smaller than that even I'm gonna go 36 and I don't want metallic oh I don't want the calligraphy font. I want, so let's just do like uh, Myriad Web Pro. There we go. So you can then type in, you know, your sentence and then hit enter once or twice. And et cetera. And you can resize this text just like we did the others. So you could type in, you know, an entire paragraph of many sentences if you wanted to. Then you hit that move tool, you could resize it any way you wanted to, and you could also move it as well and do multiple um, text blocks too. So that's all there is to it. That is how you can add text to an image or book cover in Photoshop Elements. If you have any other questions, let me know. Just use that contact form on the eBook Templates 101 site and I'll talk to you soon.